Hello, my name is Seren Adams. I'm founding attorney at Adams Law Office located in Bowie, Maryland. And our topic today is what is a power of attorney and what is it used for? So the power of attorney document is one of the tools in your estate planning toolbox uh, that's essentially used to set up the person who would be able to handle your financial affairs if you become incapacitated. Um, so this document is only used while you're alive. If it's a durable power of attorney, that means that it survives your incapacity, uh, meaning the agent you've named is able to serve even if you're incapacitated. That's what you want it for, um, so that they can serve and handle your financial affairs if you are unable to due to incapacity. So that can be getting into an accident on the beltway and you're in the hospital for several months, to you've gone into a coma for years, um, to having something like dementia, Alzheimer's, where you're no longer able to handle your affairs um, due to a deteriorating uh, mental disease or physical disease, anything like that. So if you're no longer able to handle your affairs, that document states who is able to step into your shoes and handle those affairs for you. Um, the key with your power of attorney is that it is very detailed. Uh, you don't want your agent to have to go to court to prove that they can do something um, if you are actually in that situation of being incapacitated uh, because they're then jumping through all of these hoops that you were trying to prevent by having that document in place. Um, so if it's very detailed, covering gifting powers, covering the ability to create estate planning, you can actually have your agent potentially do long-term care planning for you um, so that you're protecting assets from Medicaid spend down. All of those things are crucial to be able to do if you become incapacitated later. Um, one of the things that you want to make sure you're not doing or that I do not recommend that you do is having a springing power of attorney, meaning it kicks in only after you're incapacitated and your agent has to actually prove that incapacity in order to start serving. Um, again, you're setting up hoops that they have to jump through and if you are in fact incapacitated, you want your agent to be able to step in right away to handle things like your digital assets, your bank account, getting your bills paid, um, getting medical providers paid. All of those things are um, crucial to have happen quickly and not have to wait for a court to make a determination and ruling on. Um, so getting that in place ahead of time before you lose incapacity is also one of the big things that you want to make sure happens. Um, and one of the things to also keep in mind is that the power of attorney, if it's done properly, is a very powerful document. So you do want to keep it safe. I usually recommend not making a copy for everyone who you've named in the document to serve. Um, if you have multiple agents and so forth. Obviously, these are people you trust, but you don't know what kind of security they have in their home or any of that kind of stuff. So keeping it safe in your estate planning documents and letting them know where it is if they need it. Uh, so they can access that document if something happens to you is the best course of action and also giving a copy to any banks where you have individual um, accounts where the account is staying in your individual name. Um, that's important also for them to have a copy of the power of attorney. It's much easier to um, pull a power of attorney back from a bank than it would be from a person where the relationship changes. So. Um, for those reasons, we do recommend you keep it just with your documents rather than making copies. Um, but definitely getting a power of attorney in place is crucial. And you should have a statutory power of attorney if the state in which you're living in um, does have that under their code. Maryland and D.C. both have that. So if you are a Maryland and D.C. resident, um, the statutory power of attorney is what we recommend. And then adding in um, additional powers to those statutory power of attorney so that you have all of the ability to do anything that comes up um, if you're incapacitated. So that is what a power of attorney is. Um, if you would like to get more information on topics like these, feel free to um, check out our more detailed estate planning webinar online at mylegacylawyer.com. That's where you'll be able to sign up for it. Um, also, be sure to subscribe and follow us so that you can be notified when we have new videos available. Um, and if you're ready to actually prepare an estate plan and would like to set up a consultation with one of the attorneys in my firm, you can schedule a legacy planning session online at adamslawoffice.com 
or you can call us at 301-805-5892. See you next time.